drive to work, plug in, and charge. That has basically been my daily routine for charging for the past five months that I've owned my Model 3, but in late of recent global events, that has obviously changed and I'm now working from home. So if you've been following the channel, you know that I usually do charge at work. That was actually the justification for buying a more expensive car. I had access to free charging at work basically every day. And obviously I can't do that anymore. So luckily I've not been driving a lot. My Model 3 unfortunately just sits there idle most of the time, save for a couple trips to the grocery store and local parks. But even when sitting parks, there is a little bit of phantom drain and I typically see around 5% per day. I haven't been tracking this very closely. So if you do wanna see a full phantom drain video or actually track those numbers and see how much charge I'm losing just by letting my car sit there, drop a like on this video and I'll make sure that happens. And keep in mind with that 5%, I do have sentry mode on all the time. I just leave my car parked out in our parking lot, out of our apartment complex. I don't have a garage or anything like that. So I like to keep those cameras on and keep everything monitored. But granted, I do have some extra phantom drain from keeping those cameras on. With all this being said, my car lasts about a week with a 90% charge before I need to plug in again. And it is not healthy to keep your car sitting at below 20%. So usually when it gets down in that range, I have to start looking for a place to charge. And I've really only got two options when it comes to charging, either go to a supercharger or find a public level two charger. Honestly, I typically just go with the supercharger. It is faster and easier. I've got one about 10, 15 minutes from my house, so I can drive there, plug in, and when my charge level is around 20%, it takes about 35 minutes to charge up to 90%. So I have time to watch Netflix for a little bit, work on scripts for future videos, and just hang out for a little bit. So my other option is to find a public level two charger. I typically use PlugShare to look for these chargers, but I'll also use ChargePoint occasionally. They've got a pretty extensive network in Columbus, and lucky for me, They've got a deal with Huntington Bank here in the Columbus area where they have been putting charging stations out front of just about every Huntington Bank in the central Ohio area. And these are actually free during business hours. So you're able to plug in there. Anybody can plug in. You don't need to be a member of that bank. You can drive your car up, plug in, and it is free during business hours, but there is a four hour limit. And I've actually got one of these right across the street from my apartment complex. So sometimes at lunch, I will actually drive my car over there. I'll plug in. Uh, let it sit there for about four hours. I'll just walk back to my apartment in between that because it is close enough and the weather is finally starting to clear up and been nicer where I can actually get out and walk. So I'll plug in there, I'll walk home, wait for it to charge for a little bit and then walk back and retrieve my car. Again, not ideal. I'd love to just plug in in a garage or something a little bit closer, but it does get me up and walking during the day. So that is an added benefit. While on these chargers, I typically see about six kilowatts or at about 25 miles of range per hour, nothing crazy. So I do need to leave it sit there for a while, but it is nice to have something that close that I can go and charge at. That's actually what it did today. My car dipped below 20%. So I drove it over there during lunch and just picked it up, added about 20% to my battery and got me up over that 20% uh, limit. So my battery isn't being as strained. So because of this whole situation, I'm definitely looking for some place that has a garage or somewhere I can plug my car in closer to where I actually live at my next apartment complex or house. I'd love to have some sort of charging that is in my home or very close to my home. So I don't have to do a ton of walking or drive 15 minutes to a charger. I know there aren't a lot of people in my situation, but there are a lot of people that are considering EVs right now and not all of them own a home where they can get a charger installed in their garage. So I definitely recommend if you are in an apartment complex right now, finding one with a charging station or with a place that you can get a garage that has an outlet so you can keep your car plugged in overnight. And honestly, I've been having flashbacks to when I had a gas car and I had to drive a couple minutes to go fill up my car and it basically took 20 minutes out of my day driving and going to do that. I know we typically see charging as a benefit for EVs but right now it has definitely been a bit of a struggle so just want to kind of update you guys on what my charging habits have been like since I've been working from home. That about wraps it up. Thank you so much for watching. If I missed anything here or you're curious about uh, charging in an apartment, definitely drop me a comment down below. I'd love to answer any questions you might have. Uh, thanks again for watching. Stay safe out there and I'll see you in the next one.